two man what's going on it's lnh back with another vid man and we have to talk about it once again the brawny james bryce comparison is one that honestly is a never ending cycle of talks back and forth but we're gonna break it down today and tell you the truth on why bryce james is actually going to truly be better than brawny in the future but if you do like these type of vids make sure you do like the vid sub to the channel turn on those post notifications let's get right into it now if you guys have not seen what's going on man there has been a ton of talks about the comparison between bryce james the younger brother and brawny the older brother the two sons of lebron now of course whenever you have a superstar athlete like lebron a ton of people are going to give for sure so much pressure to their sons which definitely in my opinion brawny james is the one who gets the most of it and i think the reason that is is because he is the oldest child out of the family everyone is looking at him to see what he's can do well somebody like bryce definitely in my opinion didn't grow up in the same type of spotlight that brawny did now with that being said of course i think brawny has made a ton of improvement on his game but there's something about bryce that i think is going to separate him in the long term and that's his build even if we take a look at bryce right around now he probably is around six foot six one and think about it he's only going into the ninth grade i think that's huge because if you look at his body and how big he is definitely he weighs more than brawny did at that age but that's just a level and in my opinion we're going to see him build into the type of stature like lebron having that extra weight to him and of course in that solid type of build can go a long way when you're developing getting stronger and really being a super solid player on the court now of course brawny definitely weighs less but i think in my opinion he for sure has some height too brawny's probably around 6'3 6 6'4 as of right now and was doing his thing overall in the summer league in eybl session he was scoring pretty well playing pretty positively of course he had games where he didn't play his best but he definitely had a lot where he showed he could shoot the ball and at some points could really lead his team and i think that's what we're gonna have to see from brawny but in my opinion bryce just is playing a little bit better at a younger age than brawny was and i think for sure how he stands out playing against older competition where we would see somebody like brawny kind of shy away from the field i think bryce is a little bit more aggressive and that we've seen him even take more shots being a little bit aggressive try to block basketballs when people are shooting really doing the small things that make him a super effective teammate even though he may not be scoring the most on his team and of course that's natural when you're playing against older competition now in fact Bronny did also play against older competition when he was younger but i really don't see it being the same as the way bryce is playing so well now i really think pressure just does go a long way in this type of situation and for sure every single move that Bronny does whether it's with the situation with him and Larsa Pippen or whatever was going on if he was DMing somebody dropping a comment on somebody's photos Bronny's name was in the spotlight immediately and he had to go through a lot of these mistakes that I think somebody like Bryce would already be able to learn from his brother and not do and the fact that them two probably train with each other at point in time that's only going to make Bryce better and closer to what Bronny's type of talent is if not make him better at a younger age and overall be a better player than brawny now it's one thing to weigh a little bit more than brawny but it's another thing when you're able to move on the court pretty athletically like bryce is able to and i think that's what separates the two if you can have the weight but still move look at somebody like braun of course he's built he has definitely a lot of weight to him for sure has been hitting the gym like crazy but he's able to still have that type of athleticism that makes him so effective on the court and when we talk about genetics and who really got bronze build in my opinion as of right now it does look like bryce because you know what could happen if bryce continues to stay in the gym work on his game a lot of times that fat can convert into muscle which is just going to make him that more of a dominant player on the court and not to mention bryce is the one that's known for shooting now of course brawny and a lot of people even compared brawny and lebron at a point in time and said that Bron was of course a worse shooter than somebody like brawny was at his age so brawny definitely made a huge improvement but i think what people are forgetting is bryce is the one who's really known for shooting not even brawny so when we see somebody like brawny play so well and be able to shoot the ball in eybl what do you think is going to happen when bryce is actually playing against somebody like his own age teams that are his own age and he 
he's shooting the basketball like that i think that's what's really going to be the separating factor because of course the build the athleticism but if you're able to shoot as well that's a full package you just have to make sure you're able to dribble and i think he can be a super effective player when he does get older and of course playing at sierra canyon you're playing with some of the best players in the country so it's going to be super interesting to see how he does play during the season when that does eventually come up now combine all of that with aggression and i think bryce james has the potential to be one of the best players coming out in a very long time he definitely has a lot of potential man but the type of expectations that we do put on these younger players is super high we just have to be honest about this imagine you being 14 15 years old and the entire world is looking at you to perform you have people like drake coming to your games and a ton of pressure each and every game i think that's one thing that we have to notice and for sure the media does hold high expectations for these players but i think for sure Bronny has done a pretty solid job so far and I think that's why Bryce is just going to be that much more comfortable in these type of situations because he's able to learn from his brother now not to state the obvious but again a lot of people even believe that Bronny shouldn't be ranked at all for the type of output that he does have and the only reason he's ranked is because of his father now of course you guys know we cannot be around the bush here whenever your father is an NBA player your name is gonna hold weight on any type of ranking board regardless of your output because there were definitely times where Bronny was not producing but it was almost like they were ranking him based off potential because a lot of times we he would see games here and there where he would eat but other times it was almost like he was a ghost on the basketball court and really wasn't doing too much now in my opinion i think he can be an excellent player moving forward but man somebody like bryce i think he just has more pieces at a younger age that can make him more of a dominant player but you guys know on the other hand people do and continue to keep saying that somebody like Bronny james is actually going to be one of the best if not the highest ranked player in the country when he becomes a senior and that's a bold statement from people nba vets gilbert arenas brandon boston those are bold statements but when we take a look at it Bronny james has definitely done a ton to improve but i honestly don't think he is there yet now we even see people like zaire wade of course get compared to his father and i think that's only natural when you're the son of an nba player but i think this can actually be used as fuel unlike what a lot of people say now people think these are bad standards that we hold to these younger players but this can also be a good thing and cause you to work harder and meet some of those high expectations that people do have imagine if somebody is comparing you to somebody like lebron how much harder do you think you're going to work on your skills in your game to try to get to that level than if you were just someone who wasn't compared to anyone at all and that's why i think it can work in their favor at one point even if they are always in the eye of the media this can cause these two who Hoopers to work even harder and again I'm sure they do train with each other so that's going to only make each other better and make them superstars in the future but man I just have to give it to Bryce as of right now I just see something in him that always we don't really see in Bronny James like that but if Bronny could develop that consistent killer mentality to go out there and really dominate the competition every time he steps on the court I think we may be able to incorporate him here but for sure Bryce with the height athleticism definitely the weight and just the type of IQ that he's shown thus far playing I think for sure he is going to be better than Bronny because let me know in the comments down below what do you think is Bronny overrated is Bryce overrated are we doing too much analysis on younger players drop it in the comments down below and if you actually watched this far comment down below Bryce and I'll make sure to heart your comment but I appreciate each and every one of you for tuning in let me know drop down any video suggestions you do have as well but I appreciate each and every one of you you're selling each and